Hello, everyone, and welcome to Oculi's presentation. I'm Joe Maljean, and I'm the lead technical pre sales at Oculi. So I would like to start with thanking the organizers of this workshop for the great work they have put into gathering all of us here. Today, I would like to present to you the technology created at Oculi, which is a novel architecture delivering bionic vision at the edge. Before we get into the details of Oculi's technology, I will start with a comparison between artificial vision that exists today and human vision. Generally, artificial vision systems use image sensors, which have a high resolution and continuously output frames, and thus generate a huge amount of data that needs to be transferred to a processor to extract the relevant information and make the appropriate decision. This structure makes the process power consuming and slow. In fact, we burn tens of watts or even higher depending on the number of sensors, and it takes up to a second even if you have strong processing capabilities. Human vision, on the other hand, is extremely fast and efficient. It only burns milliwatts and it is done in real time. The secret to this efficiency and speed starts with the eye, which is a sensor that has a lot more resolution than cameras, but generates a lot, a lot less data over to the brain. Furthermore, there is a two-way communication of signals and controls between the eye and the brain. The eye sends information depending on what the brain is looking for, and it changes dynamically and in real time as well. This doesn't exist in today's technology. The eye outputs vision intelligence, whereas cameras dump video on processors in one way. At Alkali, we have developed a new architecture for artificial vision, which is a complete vision solution on a single chip called the Sensing and Processing Unit, or SPU. You can see a picture of it on the left. The Alkali SPU delivers real-time vision intelligence at the edge with software-defined features. A solution deploying an SPU will be at least 30 times more efficient than alternatives and significantly faster. The key to our efficiency comes from the architecture of the SPU that has similar features to the, to the human eye and brain combination. The SPU does parallel processing in the pixels since every pixel is equipped with smarts. The SPU also offers a bi-directional link between the SPU and the outside world. And it has a lot of software defined features and capabilities and can be tuned in real time, both in modality and in the data that it outputs. Therefore, the SPU is the first practical silicon that closely mimics biology and selectivity, parallel processing, and efficiency, but outperforms in speed to deliver bionic vision for machines. The figure on the right is the high-level architecture of the SPU. It has a pixel array comprising IntelliPixels represented on the left. These are pixels fitted with the sensor, the front end, an, AL, an ALU, and the memory resulting in the integration of neuromorphic sensing and processing in each pixel. The n-pixel digital processing capability enables the SPU to output events, smart events, frames, and actionable or billable information. The data selected by the pixels can be further processed through the image signal processor on board to derive actionable insights. The SPU is also sensor agnostic, meaning that the architecture of the SPU is independent of the sensor. All the, all the logic operates in the dig digital domain, not the analog. Therefore, the SPU's architecture offers the same functionalities independent of the sensor. In fact, we have previously demonstrated the SPU working with infrared sensors in the different wavelengths of IR, including SW, MW, and LWIR. The Oculi SPU being fitted with the IntelliPixel technology includes in-pixel digital processing, reducing the bandwidth and external processing by up to 99% with zero loss of relevant data. These are examples of the SPU's output. The first video is full frame output by the SPU. The second video is the raw smart events output where only the relevant high contrast edges in the scene are returned. And the third video is actionable signal delivered by the SPU, providing an understanding of the scene dynamics. 
The actionable signal is fueled by the ISP, enabling on-chip image statistics in real time. And all of these modes are output directly from the SPU. The data reduction empowered by Oculus technology can go from gigabytes of data being output to megabytes or even kilobytes, at the, and that at the chip level. In fact, the slow bandwidth actionable signal can be enough for a wide range of applications since it indicates the presence of an object in the scene, its size, direction of movement, speed, and the density. The Oculi SPU can be further programmed to deliver a signal of interest. The video in the second column shows the event output of the SPU. This is an output that the SPU can provide where the red represents a positive change and the blue represents a negative intensity change. And this is practically similar to what the DBS would output. So the video on the third column shows the smart event output where the SPU is outputting the intensity value of pixels of interest. The fourth column is the metadata or billable information generated using the smart event output of the SPU. As you can see, the Oculi SPU is a complete vision solution on a single chip, reducing bandwidth, processing, and power while enabling fast response times. Moreover, the Oculi SPU offers software-defined features that can be configured to only extract the relevant features from the scene. The signal is processed in parallel at the true edge, and any one of these modes or multiple modes can be output simultaneously and directly from the Oculi SPU to, the, to deliver bionic vision for machines. As shown in the videos, the SPU is a programmable vision platform that can easily be adapted for various use cases. For example, setting the SPU to track large intensities, such as in the video shown at the bottom right, can be used to extract the lane markings on the road in real time and at the pixel level. And switching between any of these modes can be done at any time, and the programmable features can be changed on the fly. In addition to all these capabilities, the Oculi technology is a noble vision architecture that is agnostic to the post-processing that follows. The output of the SPU is a fully formed signal that is compatible with standard AI algorithms and general purpose processors. In this example, the SPU running in smart event mode is configured to look for the relevant action in the scene, which is the golf swing in this case. Using these events, the SPU is able to seamlessly generate full frames. The Oculi SPU can also detect ultra fast motion and enable fast reaction times, such as the gun flashes that are shown in these videos. And the SPU can directly output the signal that you can see at the right with no further external processing. Compared to military grade equipment, which could not keep up with the continuous firing while running on a five kilowatts power generator, the Oculi SPU is able to track the gun flashes in real time while sampling the scene at a higher rate than 30 kilohertz and running on less than 300 milliwatts. Another feature offered by the Oculi SPU is the fusion, fusion sensor technology. This is Oculi IP for the dual mode IntelliPixel, allowing the SPU to deliver a co-lined image and 3D range data at the edge. Now the Oculi SPU is the product of over 18 years of research and development led by Dr. Sherbert Risk, founder, CEO, CTO of Oculi, which started at Johns Hopkins University. And it was specifically focused on developing efficient vision intelligence on a single chip that delivers fast response and low bandwidth, power, size, and weight. The additional requirement was to make it detector agnostic. The SPU comes in various forms. We have the S11 and S41, both offering similar advanced features and capabilities that I presented in this, uh, in the, in this uh, video.
We have the Oculi SPU S11 fitted on the VIP 11B platform, which is designed to enable you to evaluate the first in the family of sensing and processing units. It is equipped with all the necessary firmware and software that, so that you can be up and running quickly. We also have developed an interactive user-friendly application to help you interact with the SPU, as well as a comprehensive command line application and libraries, code samples, and documentation that would help you use the SPU in your artificial vision applications. If you find our technology interesting and want to learn more about it, feel free to visit our website by using the link below. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me at my email, which is provided on the slide. Thank you very much for attending my presentation, and I hope you enjoyed it.